what actually goes on in a, a human mind or psyche or inside somebody uh, during these things is profoundly mysterious. So your question is if there is a if the LSD experience is a doorway to the ego death. You have uh, concepts in uh, Vajrayana Buddhism, for example, where anything material would be seen ultimately as patterns of mind. How does the ego work? What is the, why is humanity so repressed? And how, why does it keep doing so much to damage itself? What underlies these altered states of consciousness? How can we, how can we understand them better so we can manipulate, use them better? So the ayahuasca induced state is a transitional state. Because you're moving from a rigid certainty that you know what reality is all about, to a vision that shows you that reality contains many more possibilities than you ever imagined. In the old time, you could go for 10 years for meditation, and then once, if you were lucky on the way, you would realize, ah, oh, that's what Jesus or Buddha meant. Now you can do it in six hours in an ecstasy. It will not keep, but you get the insight. He came to me with his eyes and asked for water, stretched out his hand and spoke. His mind burned into mine like the noon sun. My picture of thoughts broke. Mm -hmm.